Hey there, folks. I'm Mr. HJG, and welcome back to Let's Play Soul Blazer. I wasn't sure I was going to be recording a video right away, otherwise I'd be fairly confident in my ability to remember to tell you about Battle Android Troopers. But, uh, yeah, I'll tell you about Battle Android Troopers here. So, back on the old G.I. Joe cartoon, which is like one of my favorite cartoons of all time, fairly late into the run of the cartoon when I was still watching, because that, that show kind of got revived and brought back years later. Uh, it had a pretty long shelf life, uh, and I'd kind of outgrown it before, uh, before it kind of permanently went away. But, um, right around the time, like, the G.I. Joe, the movie came out. The G.I. Joe, the movie, directed by the Starfire. Um, they, uh, introduced the Battle Android Troopers, because it had been a long time since Cobra had really been all that threatening to G.I. Joe. Uh, regular Cobra troops couldn't, you know, they were, they went to the Stormtrooper School of Marksmanship, although, frankly, so did the Joe team. The Joe, nobody ever got shot and killed on, um, G.I. Joe. So, um, it's old Moise Grandpa. <laughs> We've really got to get some grandmas. Oh, maybe they're in the, maybe they're in those cages. It appears that there's some sort of dungeon in the, uh, Mountain of Souls village there. But, uh, the... Battle Android Troopers were introduced, and that like I just remember the very first appearance they made, they whooped the shit out of GI Joe. Like GI Joe had to retreat because it turns out, like you know, all oh, these things are invulnerable to our fire. We can't stop them, and they and they were kind of portrayed as like this invincible. Um, it was almost like this this horrible zombie menace, or they would just like slowly charge forward, and. Uh, inexorably forward and nothing could slow their sinister advance and um, and then over the course of that first story and I think that was like a, one of those uh, five part miniseries they used to do on G.I. Joe back in the day um, eventually their weakness was revealed that you you had to shoot them in the back uh, and because they were all slow and easy to outmaneuver like you, they were heavily armored up front but they were easy to defeat from the back so, um, you know, that's how, uh, the Joe team took them out, and then, um, the, the wisdom of this is coming soon. Yeah, but what interested me about it was that they, they introduced them as this, like, scary new threat. Once their weakness was revealed, they sucked. Uh, like, they, they just became complete jobbers that the Joes could beat up on, and then it became apparent that the true purpose of the battle android trooper was that while when G.I. Joe used to fight like generic uh, dudes in masks who were like generic Cobra soldiers on the on the show before that and um, you know there would be protests and stuff like guys dressed as Santa's holding machine guns um, protesting violence in children's toys I remember but um yeah I can't quite figure out where I'm meant to go right now Maybe I'll have to go back to the village and start chatting with people. Um, but once the bad Android troopers were introduced, they were introduced as like the scary new badass threat. Within the course of their initial multi-part story, they just uh, were jobbed out. And then from after that, their weakness, they had to be shot from the back, completely disappeared because in all subsequent appearances, the Joe team, A, were suddenly able to hit something because they used to always miss Cobra Soul. Like, they charge in shooting at Cobra soldiers, nobody would ever get hit, and then the G.I. Joe guy would finally close in and punch them and knock them out, and that's how you defeat Cobra. Um, suddenly, with the battle android troopers, they could fucking blow them to hell, because they were robots, so nobody was dying. And it just became this thing where the Joe team was, like, constantly blowing up the Cobra, uh, Cobra battle android troopers, and, um... It explained why anybody would work for Cobra, because they didn't need people working for them, now they had robots. And, um... All this was brought on by the appearance of bats. But yeah, I just... Battle Android Troopers in G.I. Joe were bats. But yeah, it was actually this ingenious way to introduce a way that the Joe team could actually blow stuff up. And, uh, defeat enemies for reals. But, um... It involved, like, introducing them as a scary threat, and then just ignoring the weakness that was established for them. Oh, honey, I can still use magic, look! Oh. Okay, I was thinking. Oh, no, I had to, I had a limited time to talk to that guy. 
I better have the dream rod equipped just in case. My wife was able to use magic at one time. Oh, yeah, I can still use magic. Look. Okay, there was no dream rod required, but I'll tell you a secret. If you see a sleeping mushroom, return to the same place you saw it in its dream. Well, I knew we'd see sleeping mushrooms, but, um... And that trick, return to where you saw something in its dream, has worked before. Make sure you search Lano very carefully. If you move too fast, you may overlook things. Okay, so you're telling me there's secret passageways, eh? Is there any coincidence to the fact that there's a little corner down here right after you told me that? I do remember having gotten irritated at one point in the game because I knew I'd missed stuff and I was going desperately searching around these villages while the town music was driving me insane. Driving me insane! There's prison over there. Well, there are no actual bad people. I guess it's just a punishment room. Whoa. <laughs> well, those people haven't done anything wrong. They just like being punished. So, there's a room for them over there. I guess there are no bad people. What about the fucking king who eliminated all life in exchange for one gold piece each? There is a sword called Lucky Blade somewhere in Leno. Yeah, I already got it. It is said that monsters will leave larger gems. Mm hmm. Not really doing much for me, but, uh, I got it. Better than the Lucky Blade from the original Luffy, I suppose. Luffy in the Fortress of Doom was like, hey, you got the Lucky Blade. Fuck you, it's cursed. Can you believe this old man used to be a child just half a year ago? Yeah, I'm sure important. There we go. You're not a mushroom, old man, but I'm still going to look into your dreams. Still haven't placed the dream rod on the old man. I will not leave you at... and go off to other places, I promise. As proof of my promise, I buried my belongings in the Aurora Ridge. Okay, so this is what he's talking about. Pay attention to where this guy is, because there's, like, cool shit here. The magic armor, 50 gems, and one medical herb. Oh, I found that, though. I hope someone will find them. I did! Didn't I? I got the magic armor. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Goat food, that's my new item of choice now. Um, turbo symbol. Oops, I must have fallen asleep. I was dreaming of my childhood six months ago. This passage leads to the underground lake loom. Oh, okay, so I had to use a different exit from this place. Where is the exit to this place? I did have to use a different exit, didn't I? I mean, I've never been here before, have I? Uh, maybe I have. No, I haven't. So I had, in fact, reached the end of what I could do without coming back to the village. Makes me feel a little better. Because I wasn't being incompetent. At least, not in that respect. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I have a feeling I might have figured out where there's a secret. Yeah, buddy. I had a hunch about that. I haven't really figured out the difference between the red-robed version of these guys and the blue-robed ver- or purple-robed version of these guys. I mean, their faces were different colors, I think. Maybe they're just different races. Maybe these guys always say, ah, I cannot believe the mentality of the Canadian race. So this is the thing that we saw. Strange bottle. Weird bottle. Strange bottle. Yeah, I mean, how many 
times are we gonna find that in the game? I guess, I guess you use them up. Uh, I guess they crack if you actually die with it equipped or something. Okay, well, we did find a way across. I have to hit you in the back, right? No. Okay, never mind. Come back here so I can spend 20 minutes talking about the battle android troopers from G.I. Joe. And treasure chest containing... A rotator? Oh. Yeah, so I definitely missed a magic spell in uh, Turbo's level. A light ring will rotate around you for those light days. Oh, neat. So, and you can hold it down to waste more gems. That would be really handy against those bats, though. But yeah, it, it eats up gems if you use. Not, never mind. Forget it. Not worth it finishing that sentence. So, you. You're gonna be the enemy type that just keeps repopulating so that the levels aren't completely uh, empty when you need to backtrack. So fighting you will, will do nothing for me. I can already kind of tell. Ooh. Never mind on that what's the difference thing. I got it now. Sullivan released a boy. This boy's in the punishment room. There are no bad people, except for this boy. Kind of an interesting attack type that those things have. Oh, I didn't even notice the fourth one there. You gotta go, buddy. You're just getting in the way. You gotta go, because I just rammed right into you for no good reason. At least they're not appearing on the other side of this little waterfall there. That would be annoying. I'm sure they're all appearing at the same place. Is that all that did? I guess it gives me access to this, which I wouldn't have had otherwise. Level up, bitches. Sullivan released a snail gnome. Okay, so you're some kind of important plot snail. And you too are in the punishment room. You too are kinky. I was kind of hoping that, like, you know, there was a boy in the punishment room, and then it would be like, you released a girl, and the girl is in the same cell of the punishment room, but for some reason, Despite having the little girl model, she was wearing, like, this sort of shiny black outfit. Kinky. You die now. Well, that was the only thing that did, too, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it released something somewhere else, and you have to actually go looking for it. I think that might be the case. They're like, hey, let's see if the kids are paying attention. far more than I ever did as a kid. <laughs> I mean, now, in my adult life, I use so much more magic than I ever used to. I'm watching the world. I'll take this. Soul of the Oh, I'm gonna stay here, lady, but thanks for the offer. checking in case uh, there's even more cool stuff unlocked by that uh, switch right at the exit. I could backtrack through the whole level again and see, but I think we're good. It's 
See, there's nothing wrong with this dungeon design, but the whole, like, you know, gray paths over water, it's not really, it's not really a very memorable setting. I was just thinking I didn't really remember this part of the game. I remember the early part of the game fairly well. Like that, uh, painting of evil is a really kind of neat looking level design, especially if you're a kid, it really makes an impression. Uh, here, not so much. And the snow part of the beginning. This is just kind of... Even as far as, like, the uh, area that you're, uh... The little elvy, elven people that you release with defeating monsters, I vaguely remembered, but... So I've released a mushroom. Oh, is that mushroom gonna be asleep? In the punishment area? Dreaming about being punished? Uh, we have to find a sleeping mushroom at some point, otherwise one of the clues we received won't make sense. How can that be? thing did. And I'm still finding it to be the most useful spell. Even if that one spell is good against bats. Choose through your uh, MP to use it, though. Your gems, excuse me. Oh, you son of a bitch. Perfect. I'm the man. I even stole its gem at the end. Oh, so awesome. Ooh, this is gonna get extreme. We got like a billion old wizard dudes. I really shouldn't try to tank that. Yeah, this actually is, um... Comparably difficult. Reminded me a little of the wizard robes, like the, uh, dun the, uh... Level 6 of, uh, the original Legend of Zelda. The wizard robes, man, that shit pissed me off when I was a kid. I remember thinking that, um... Flashback Theater, how do I play Zelda game one of these days? The only Zelda games I ever played were the uh, the NES ones and then Link to the Past, so... But anyway, um... You know, I always remember thinking that uh, 6 was hard with the Wizard Robes, 8 was hard with the Dark Knuckles, and then... I don't remember what was in 7, except that I thought I was like, really? This came after 6? Hey, Grandma! Hey, Grandma. Keep it real, Grandma. Alright, um... Uh, magical Oib. Too many buttons. It was wise of me to uh, set up the old magical herb there, I think. Ooh, we got different colors from diff from one spawner, or. Or, uh, are they following me from the spawner up top? Fighting them not near the, um... Little skull faces that make rocks appear under you guys is a good thing. Now I gotta remember I don't have a magic herb. It's my only death so far that, uh, well, other than occasionally a safe state of beast against bosses. Abuse is a strong word, because uh, in this game, all I would have to really do is just backtrack to it through an empty dungeon after each defeat. 
And I never use save states, like, during a fight, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, damn it, you guys are still going up here, huh? one left when I finally got rid of that guy. I was going to be sort of disappointed. In a weird sort of way. I mean, when I got rid of the guy off to the left. The demon face dude. Save it. Now I'm ready for this to be over any old time. Could have been done. Hey, we must be getting pretty close to the end of this thing. Thir uh, that usually means uh, the final boss is nearby. Somehow, to me, it seems like these areas are getting shorter. I didn't actually mean to save, but it doesn't hurt anything. So then, you're doing well. Do not give up. Kill have whole command destroyed in no time. Well, skipping back a ways, but I think it's time to... Oh, that's right, this is doesn't fall in. No, the down one is usually the town, yeah. It's time to go to the one surefire place to get a, a medical herb without having to uh, identify which of several squirrels is actually a squirrel. Not what I meant to do. So yeah, we're awfully close to the end of this stage, it would seem. I don't feel like I've interacted with nearly everyone in the um, <sighs> the Mountain of Souls, but um, I can always go back and pay a post-game visit. <laughs> Fucking thing. Yeah, this is it. Right here, the... You're a scary motherfucker. Oh, hey, crap. Make sure I got that medical herb equipped. I'm glad I saved. How am I supposed to avoid those? I'm sure there's a way. Okay, not off to a great start with this guy, but... Yeah, I haven't quite figured out how to avoid that last little attack. Because it keeps getting you on the, the sort of the rebound. Oh, you know, I think I kind of see now. You have to be over here. There's no other way that you'll be able to effectively dodge that last one. I'm still not being that effective. Because they don't... They kind of home in on you horizontally and then vertically, or am I saying that backwards? I think I am, actually. Yeah, not beating this guy on the first try, it would seem. But I think uh, I think we'll figure this out in fairly short order. Didn't quite make it there fast enough. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think I got it. Fudge. Never mind. Damn, it kind of should have been easy that time. Oh, he switches hands. Well, there you go. That's death. That's Wormwood. Wormwood. Alright, let's do this again, and let's not fail. And uh, actually, that'll make a great uh, stopping point for a video if I defeat this dude. And start the net. Well, you know, I'd probably want to go a little further to... Um... Yeah, that's great the way I did, totally didn't hit him at all. Awesome. I was in the right place, and then I dodged an extra time and took the hit. Dang, I need to stop doing that. Got the... Medical herb equipped, anyway. And I took a double hit. That was great. Scary Mermaid Man is scary. I guess he's Scary Merman. How is he not the boss of the last chapter? Got caught on the corner. Damn it. Jeez. Jeez! I think I'm doing worse than I did the first time. better. Hey, uh, you don't have... Your invincibility frames don't last long in this game. I get mad every time he switches hands. It seems like he shouldn't be allowed to do that. No ambidextrous murkings. I haven't used my medical herb yet, have I? Uh, did I already? Yeah, I did. Duh. Okay. Well, that being the case, I might as well see if something else will help. Uh... Oh, yeah. I don't know if it really worked or not. I haven't been paying enough attention to... How much damage each hit does. Well, he's on to his last stamina meter, for what that's worth. Awesome music, awesome boss music. It's actually going to be fairly close here, I think. I thought I had a perfect run that time. Then I managed to get hit about four times and not hit him at all. Now, what's disappointing is that it each failed run is taking me so freaking long. Yeah, I'm not going to make it all the way through without getting hit again. Those are my best. Somehow when he gets over there, I just got a better swing angle on him. 
can't quite do that. When he's to my right, I can't do it. When he gets in the middle, I need to think about going right and then trying to attack him on the left. We're at the end of a video. I mean, I could make the next video the one where I actually deal with him, but um, now I just kind of want to get it done. So, to min-max my chances, I just have to start with a shield bracelet equipped and try to remember... Ow, oh, he didn't come down all the way. Try to remember when I'm near the end of a health bar that I don't have the medical herb equipped. No, he's not going to come all the way down from up there, is he? Oh, well. I'm not going to be able to dodge the direction I want to now. But I kind of got a little lucky there. Oh. Took a while to take my first hit that time. And I'm um, catching up rapidly with the uh, lost opportunities to get hit. Yeah, one of them goes straight for you, the other one kind of curves around a bit and gets you. I think I might have it here. And I didn't even talk to the named. Uh, the named uh, snail yet. Who knows what awesome backstory for the long lived elven dudes I've missed. Didn't quite miss that second one, but respectable showing, I feel. I might not even need a medical herb now. Medical herb tarlac. I hate when I do that. This is usually the sweet spot, so I'll take a hit, but I think I actually uh, came out ahead as far as uh, trading hits there. so anxious to get in a lot of damage by starting to swing as soon as I can that I don't always make sure that I'm far enough of, uh, up. I think at this point I can just tank the damage. Alright, so we might need the medical herb. I don't want to forget that I don't have it equipped. It'd be so nice if you could give him a quick hit when he's, when he's heading back down. And you do have just enough room if you do it right to dodge there at the... Uh, the sides. Actually, somehow I didn't. E I didn't even dodge in a correct direction. I just. It, it seems to be missing me there. Not there. Head this way. There you are. That's where you need to go. It's kind of a vampire merman. Is a haircut. Alucard as a merman. trying to remember a line from Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and I just couldn't think of one. It's not really my game. He's like, just die, monster! I'm like, no, I'm sure that's not the actual line. So, I've released the king! The big number one! Boom, 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 boom. King, are you okay? King, are you okay? Oh, I didn't even get to talk to that. It is a bunch of people I didn't even talk to before uh, releasing the king. Uh, so next time, folks, we're going to see 
the return of the king. And as exciting as that is, um, I was going to just go ahead and uh, go talk to him at the end of uh, this video, but we've already run a little over. Uh, but yeah, big things happening with the destruction of a boss and all. So next time, folks, um, we'll be heading to the second to last stage, if I recall correctly. And uh, kind of the last, quote, normal stage. I think the last stage of the game is just purely fighting monsters. There's no hopping back to a town and chit-chatting with people. So uh, we're, we're on our way to the end, folks. Uh, tune in next time as we talk to the king of the people who live for like a year. Bye.